Brilliant ending. Excellent use of the Paleocene Gambit. Is this... space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since... We were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Sousa. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. I'm only gonna say this once, trainer. My shower is for winners. Ah, oh, that's cold. All right, she's going down. Disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations. Yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman. But she just lost her last frigate. Ah! Traded her last frigate, actually. For your homeworld. Sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. We could go out, maybe catch a live performance. We don't absolutely have to use the... <sighs> You're very persuasive. At least I let you take your clothes off this time. You're so good to me. I try. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are dead. So, Shepard, keeping the hard liquor under lock and key? Otherwise, I'd have to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Still have your toothbrush? No worries. I'm sure Cerberus would be happy to build us the SR-3. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have. Indeed. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love with the ship's captain. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Maybe we can work in some one-on-one -on -one time later. I'll have to check my schedule. Also, Dr. Chakwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. Would you like me to play back my recordings of your statements? I really... really... would not. I 
What's wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. Oh, really? Oh, shut up. I hadn't even met you yet. On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. Let's remember that one for later, actually. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Woo! You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Well, you and the Asari, I'm surprised you don't just tip over. I don't tip over until I've found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. Captain on deck! I love and treasure you, darling. But that is terrible. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. Everyone say Normandy. definitions of here what did we do last night what didn't we do last night i want to treasure this moment before i start remembering all the drunken antics i need to apologize for